Hold on, ready, get, set, go. This is my Avalon neighbor, and he's a commercial fisherman, and he fishes a lot, what you call the live fishery. He also helps transport the live fish up to San Francisco. And he has something to say about when the fish went away. Well, most of it was when the boat came here. The seismic boat has been scattered in the bait and fish ever, ever, since, ever since it got here last year. What boat is that? The seismic boat they got, the low energy one. And what are those guys called, those boats? I think they're owned by a company called Flugro, and I think they're called the Pacific Star and the Blu-ray, I think. Okay, and what information do you have about um, those boats? Like, what are, they, what are they doing out there, do you know? They're doing seismic testing. They have a permit. It's very low level compared to what's going to happen in November. I think they're owned by the oil industry. I'm not sure I have to look in it farther or further. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In your experience as far as the fishing, what did you recognize when, um, because there's a whole bunch of whales and fish here, and bait balls. Well, it's all gone now. And you contribute to that after they, the boats left that the, the bait ball, the whales and everything yeah. left too? How has that affected your fishing reality? It went way down. So it went from abundance to nothing. Yeah. And today is September 1st, 2012. We're at the Avila Beach, or not the Avila Beach, we're actually at Port San Luis in Avila Beach, California. And we are here to just bring attention and accountability. What's Even that? the bait boat's not getting any bait. Better interview them. Oh, okay, yeah. that's a good idea. All right, you guys. Well, thank you very much, LarryWalder.com. Thank you. Bye bye.